everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing a clean with me, as you can see. So I've got a few things in this video, including re dyeing this table, and I also made pizza for dinner. So I will show you how I did that. I've also been super busy lately. We've just figured out that we are going to be moving soon. So stay tuned for a lot more videos to come soon. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so jumping right into the video. So if you guys didn't know, this is actually my very first official kind of voiceover. I'm not very good at them yet, but I'm sure with practice and confidence building, I will get a lot better. Let me know if you guys prefer the voiceovers or if you prefer me to actually speak into the camera. So as you can see here, I am just wiping down my coffee table. We actually painted it. So you look at the paint that's come off onto the rag there. So yeah, we actually did that and uh, I can show you guys later on in the video. I'll insert a clip of me painting it just because it was a bit too white for our furniture. So we kind of stained it by mixing water with paint and putting it on there. But I'll explain more about that later in the video. Has anyone actually used like carpet cleaner powder before? I made the mistake of using that on my mat here and I didn't realize that my vacuum cleaner wasn't sucking all of it up out of the long bristle things. <laughs> and um, when I tipped it up, yeah, it kind of went all over my lounge. So <laughs> when I went to do this video, I actually made it a lot harder for myself. But um, yeah, you can see that I am just vacuuming underneath it just because, you know, like you miss a lot of stuff when you don't vacuum underneath your carpet and it's just good to do every now and then. But as I move it, yeah, look at my lounge. You can just see that. Look at all the white dust. That's sand. Lavender scented carpet cleaning sand. I know. It's great, isn't it? Anyway, so yeah, that was a lot of fun for me to clean up. And yeah, I went over this room, the mat and my lounge three to four times. So I, you know, after filming, I went over it again and again. And I had to use some leather wipes to try and get into the nooks and crannies and the crevices in the actual lounge because it, oh, honestly, it just went everywhere. It was the worst cleanup job ever. I mean, seriously, look at that. My lounge is turning white. How insane. <laughs> Thank God it was cleaning product, but yeah, it, oh, that was insane. And even my vacuum, I had emptied it all out and it would not, it just wasn't powerful enough. Like it's sand, it picked up a fair base, like, ugh, sorry, I can't talk. It picked up like a decent chunk of it, but yeah, okay, this was satisfying vacuuming it off the lounge. That was really good, but then it also kind of just pushed it into the sides. <laughs> so I just went into our laundry and I got my little uh, duster thing out to try and get most of it off onto the floor. And then I was just gonna vacuum it up that way. I just thought it was gonna be a lot easier. And yeah, as I said, I made this so much harder for myself. So yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys sit back and watch me clean all this horrendous lavender scented sand off my lounge. Started to fall, and where were you? How could I know you were falling too? Grabbing the wind, cutting my skin, but it's hard because I 
just doing the table with a bit of black paint. To do this, I just mixed a little bit of water with paint and I got a roller, one of these roller things, what are they called? From Bunnings and I just went over it and because it wouldn't actually stick, I didn't sand it because Ash did this for me uh, a couple months back and I'd cleaned it a few times and most of the color had come off. So we didn't end up sanding it. He discovered that you could just stain it. So I just decided to go back over it on this day and just show you how I did it. So I just went over it with the roller with a bit of black paint and water. And then I just got this wet rag and I just kind of wiped it over. So you can see how much of the color just came off then. So the easiest way that we've discovered how to do it is to just rub the paint in. So yeah, that's what I did. And then I just left it to dry and I thought that I would film it for you guys because you might like to see. So yeah, there's a little Kmart DIY for you. Alrighty guys, so before I talk about anything else, I would really love to introduce you to my friend over in the States called Ashley. She has a YouTube channel and it is called My Life is Ashley. She is amazing. I love her videos. She does a lot of clean with me's as well as some other family type videos. And at the moment they're living in an RV, so I'm really enjoying watching their minimalistic lifestyle. If you've come over here from Ashley's channel, welcome. I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you so much for being here and if you are from my channel, please make sure to head on over to Ashley's channel, give her a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and leave her a comment letting her know that I sent you. Alrighty, so here I am just making our dinner for that night. So we decided to go with pizza. Ash made the base for me and I was doing the toppings. So as you can see, I just cut up some mushrooms and I sauteed them in a pan with a little bit of butter. I cut up some mini Roma tomatoes and then I had some baby spinach on the pizza. So I just put my cooked mushrooms and my tomatoes onto the pizza. And then I think that's all I had on it really. Oh no, I put some avocado on it uh, because I love avocado. I just went and put the seed in the bin. And then I just put like quite a lot of mozzarella cheese. And yeah, it actually turned out really good. We're still learning how to make uh, homemade pizzas, but I panicked because Ash put it in the oven for me. 
and I like he had it up really high and we had actually burnt the base because silly old me I was putting it on a grill on fan grill not um fan bake so yeah maybe I'm not really cut out to be a little housewife but I'm learning and as I said at the beginning of the video you live and you learn so yeah it ended up being okay we saved it and yeah as i said i panicked when i pulled the pizza out because from the angle that i was looking into the oven it looked like it had burnt all the toppings but it ended up being fine it was just gonna be a bit crispy around the edges but it wasn't black so that's all good the base was a little bit black but we had to kind of like chip away at it and take some bits out <laughs> anyway so we stopped and we had our dinner and once we finished um, I just put the dishwasher on and then I wiped down the bench and just made sure that it was all clean and ready for the next day because I don't really like going to bed with the kitchen being dirty because I just like waking up and having it being all nice and clean so that I can start the day. Anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how I went with the voiceover. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you've come from Ashley's channel, hi, thank you so much for being here. I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my videos. It would really, really help me out because this is my only source of income. So I can't wait to get monetized. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Thanks again so much for watching my videos and stay tuned for the next one. Bye. Arms around me like a borderline. Go baby, we are right We don't care much for people like them We don't care much for people like them